Hi guys, and welcome to the Rainbow Six Replays YouTube channel. Today, we want to present the video highlights of the match between M80 and Team LOS during the North America League 2024 Stage 2. Don't forget to subscribe and put a like. Enjoy. Damage up to this point, and boy oh boy is that timer almost gone. Toxic gas at the top of fish will stop the advance towards the bomb site. Newer's the very first pick. Answered back with the bailiff in hand from Bolo. I don't know how he's able to get a kill on the Gomez from that position. Newer's will be the first line of defense, but nobody from Dark Zero wants an engagement in that direction. Ape will now circle around. He's got an opening. Newer's continuing to do what he does best, which is kill and kill a plenty. Timer continuing to work against DZ. Newer's looking for more than just one. Hat's not far removed as the gas will linger. Newer's picked off by Pambazoo. Dark Zero has under 10 seconds to pull this one off. Are they able to do it? Will they go for kills? No, it doesn't look like they'll be able to get it done, but they've managed to get the diffuser at the halfway point. Did they get it on time before? The They're still trying to sort through it, and obviously the turmoil that has been well reported on with the of course, not out of the woods on this round. He is still roaming up towards cargo, can walk down the stairs when he needs to. I think this is gonna be a pretty simple round from OFG where they get a one man, oh. Okay, well, they are no longer gonna have a man advantage up on the roam game. I thought that they could simply fall off after they have that one man advantage, but they're not really in position. Kobe does end up going down to Gomez. They continue to be aggressive and Gomez hungry for more. Newers takes down Nave, but this player in warehouse is Bolo. No idea of Gomez's position. NJR now in desperation is hitting the site, but he doesn't even have the defuse kit. These players are not going to rotate back to site. Well, they actually are coming down cargo. Looks like they'll get out those fights and they will shut them down. <laughs> I thought they might just hold the tower. He was almost involved in the next altercation, the very first altercation as Kobe gets picked off. Do still struggle with that. So I like their IT hold right now. Good use of these air jabs. They might even get a free kill in the clash, but I think she sees the Nomad and probably Hat will be thinking better of that. Shield will encroach upon the position of OXG. The team's trade and the Warden of Diaz is in a very tough position. Somehow manages to beat Bolo in that engagement. And Diaz is holding court in this spot. Every player from Dark Zero has been removed from the map. And in a very similar spot to where he started this map, NJR finds himself on the outside looking in. Newers peeks the window and NJR's reflexes are a little bit better than you might expect. Three players to find, including a clash. That is quite the task for DZ Diaz with three kills to his name. Yaga and Hat still searching for their first kills. Can NJR muster up anything? Will the clash run into him first? NJR will look for an opening and I don't know if they saw each other. Well, now they know Diaz is the Nitro Cell from down below. Blitz that were coming in behind the blitz, beside the blitz, really making sure that he dealt with all of those threats before he had to deal with Bolo directly. And then a nice C4 to end it off, of course, as well. Diaz is one of those players who historically has broke Warden. Not sure what the Rafters pressure is going for right now. Bolo and IT could be the back pressure that really starts to open up the man advantage. Here he goes with an EMP on the bulletproof, but he is blind, so he's not able to find a fight, and his teammates are falling top aqua. Look at this. Yaga now in this powerful position. Hat on the board. The kills favoring OXG. Kobe's been hurt an awful lot. OXG will get ever more aggressive and it picks apart these players from DZ. It's all up to Bolo. As he takes down Gomez, but has three more targets to find. 10 seconds to go. He sees Diaz, but he can't win the engagement. OXG was on that squad. Sonics looking a bit more disciplined and firing away with the leadership of Canadian guiding them. Great execute. Yes, unfortunately, will not last that much longer as DZ are able to open things up. That actually looks like it might have been a botched smoke and Nafe will immediately sprint in. Newer submits the frenzy with one kill, but the diffuser is at the halfway point. Nafe still searching for his first kill. As Bolo guns down Newers, the diffuser goes, and what was still about two and a half minutes will now go down to 45 seconds. DZ to watch over top of that diffuser. Hat walks on in. Nafe is as good as dead. 0 and 5. He hasn't exactly been that pronounced on the score sheet, but he's been leading the team to success. Where is DZ to, to get this diffuser? They managed to get it down. The Fenrir of Hat almost gets it done. He was a second away from pulling it off, but Dark Zero stops him in his tracks. 
we saw it down inside of assembly. They used the example of consulate top floor getting in the meeting window in the pre-show. Now in this game, they come on in through the assembly wall. People complain about not being able to see the uh, the in-game chat. I appreciate when they can send it mid-round. Viewers get to know exactly what's going on. <laughs> Gomez tries to help, but he ends up getting punished by Bolo. He will be the first one to die, and they're going to force and execute Aqua instead. But they're just going into a meat grinder here. Bodies will get exchanged one for another. Two players left alive, but Hat's able to frag. Puts the shield away up in sight. It's actually Diaz down below who gets caught. So Hat alone up on the top floor. Sight's down below him. Can he find is undefeated when they can get the objective down will they make it three for three that would mean a split first half which again those numbers not great for oxygen hat toiling in this position having to go around the window through the door towards the window through the door to the windows to the walls and hold on it's only naif inside of the site with 10 seconds left naif looking for kill number two and he will find it njr is still hanging tight outside of the building trying to open the it wall didn't have the ability to do that meaning that you just had to send it through aqua and what did they do exactly that but the intel was so good naif towards the ball so you're getting value from your igl and you allow the rest of the players to thrive polos had a really nice bounce back with this new leadership and immediately the man of the hour himself finds kill number nine a tenth one is within his grasp if he decides to peek in the correct direction. Gomez walks in, dies. Newers answers it back. He himself looking for a sensational start to the second half, and Newers is finding it. Oxygen in a 3v2. Leaving Nathan. They're going to try to make this way in through the bending stairs. There'll be Exo as well as this Exo comes forward, and look at this crossfight. Crossfire. Nath and Kobe are set up to win this, but it's not going to be simple. No, it'll be hard fought. Nave is the only one left. Diaz walks all over Kobe Lax. And now Nave will have to emerge from this position. He catches one, but there's an immediate follow up. Nave needs to go for the reload. OXG managed to get him as he crosses the door. And Hat saves the round for. NGR's having an uncharacteristically bad day. And it might get worse. Zaz Yaga inches away from him, and you know how bad it feels to have a blitz charging in your direction. Hat's the first casualty, as things are gonna get messy in the final 30 seconds. Kobe taking an awful lot of damage. His Nitro Cell had gone out. It does not find its target the way that he wanted. But he still does some serious damage, and that's ultimately what caused Hat to die. Nice play from Gomez to eliminate Bolo. And Gomez is looking for more of the kill feed, trading back and forth. Dark Zero coming out ahead in this brutal play between them. Now it's Newers pulling off absolute heroics. He's got to extend this timer inside of the site with one second to go, but he's going to be a sitting duck. And now it's all up to Nave to get there in time. Nave sees him and very few kills for the captain of DZ. You move to defense, it gets even more ridiculous. A 1.86 defensive KDR. That's where really NJR shines. He is one of, if not the best anchor in the entire world. And he and Pamba really saved that round. I liked the start from Kobe. He was playing down below. I mentioned his importance. He got that C4 pick to start things off strong. So Newers, as long as he stays alive, can use it. And my, my, he actually almost gets a kill but he's got too many targets to deal with. He tears strips through Nafe and will be able to secure. Newers was vanquished by Nafe just moments before and he finds another 13 kills. Newers is fired up. Hat getting Diffuser down. Dark Zero has lost the plot on this round. Bolo will do some serious damage. Pambazu stopping the Diffuser in its tracks and what was a great round for OXG has vanished. It's Newers and Yaga. 13 kills for Newers. Two kills for Yaga. Down goes Kobe to Newers. So the fuse gets in sight, but they know how vital that vertical pressure is. Maybe they leave Yaga up there to contest up above while Newers goes for Kit. They got to make a decision soon. They run in up above, but Bolo's got the angle, leaving Newers with an ace to be needed to win this one. He knows how tough it is, but both players have actually rotated down to the bottom floor. Mind slows him down, and he can reclaim the defuse kit. Time continues to go poorly, though. Seven seconds to get this onto the ground. Pamba sprints on up, that forces him to pull off, and now he's got very little time. They can just play this clock on DZ. Newer's in a difficult spot, the jack coming out, and Pamba <laughs> eventually shuts it down. I don't know if you... I think so. I didn't I don't really think it, I don't... I mean, obviously, completely undeserved. I don't know how Nick got that, but I mean, like, congratulations to him, I suppose. 
The actual awards themselves are during the, the grand finals of Montreal, if my calendar is correct. So it's not like any of us would have been able to attend anyway. Nave dies first. Nave had a great degree of difficulty finding some kills, but then he got on the score sheet, had some very impactful rounds, and then they lost him. They've also lost Pan Bazoo. It's not great for Dark Zero with just a little bit over a minute to go. If Bolo hasn't been droned out of this position, he can do some serious damage. He gets one pick, squares himself up for the next, and through the wall, Yaga finds the kill. Bolo is no more. OXG regained that two-player numbers. You can hear how little time is remaining. Yaga getting Diffuser down. Do these DZ players have any opportunity to get on in a pre-fire from Kobe Lax? He has taking some damage. Down goes Kobe. Naif, or it's NJR rather, is last one standing. Seems like this round might just be out of reach, and it sure is. Too many players from OXG staring in your general. OXG in a very competitive position. While some of IT has been opened up, now it's Hat's turn to do some art in a position where he almost gets the wall open. But that keeps a lot of these walls very much closed. Yes, they have the EMPs, but bandit tricking still now is a big possibility. They'll have to move on despite what hard breach that they have. It's going to be Yaga down below. Never mind. I, I, Jesse, I'm sorry. I hate to interrupt you, but I can't find where he said that. Mm -hmm. Could you... Well, he, you said he was on the wreck. No, I said I, I have my you... sources. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. Very, very sorry to hear that. Gomez dies now to Bolo at top fish. Diaz is gone as well. And look at the HP on Dark Zero. Newers will need to find many, many kills. But how about one to start with is Oxygen have been very limp on the entry and that limpness will not go away they're very cautious about where he is they don't necessarily know it so he has a great opportunity now he finds a pick oh the flick on a newers what was that just with a brilliant shot hit him with the lol2 i thought he gave his position away with that first shot but it doesn't matter if they know where you are if you're hitting insane flicks like that That's the best player on OXG in this lobby today, gone. Pat, Yaga, and Diaz will need to do the rest of the work. And now it's Diaz taking quite a beating. Bolo picked apart from Yaga. OXG finally on the board as they get closer to the bomb site. It's within reach. Yaga could find a safe spot to plan. Have they droned out NJR in this position? If not, oh my, this is a cheeky spot. Down goes Naif, and he's just waiting to hear the sound of the diffuser. Yaga plays this one. Nitro Cell goes out, it's shot away. NJR will need to pop up. Yaga's been dropped, it's all up to Diaz. As Kobe hits the 3K, and DZ bounce up and down.